Hey, I am putting together this quick like rant video because um, I watched The Wiz last night and I saw how white America got so upset about an all black cast and it was just really confusing. Like, I think sometimes it's the youth that have these issues not knowing like the historical significance of things. They don't understand that, you know, The Wizard of Oz with Judy Garland, um, they don't. I guess they just missed that whole thing. But uh, anyways, The Wiz was reinvented and recreated for, you know, this audience, this millennial generation. It was great. I mean, to see Neo dabbing and uh, <laughs> seeing them cranking a whip and a nay nay and to see them like using words like shade. And I mean, it was just cool. But um, moving on, I just think there is a... Uh, issue a huge issue in Hollywood we continue to see you know for every whiz recreation we see we see 10 more films where there's whitewashing of historical stories um as portrayed in Hollywood I mean you can go back to like even the bible stories I mean come on blonde hair blue eyes or brown hair but they're still like white you know and even like the passion of the Christ I mean we just see it and it just not makes sense like to history, but um, with this Gods of Egypt story, whatever the movie is called, I'm not gonna go see it. I know we again have a problem with whitewashing of Egyptians, and so um, I'm not gonna get mad at Hollywood. I'm not gonna get mad at the studios, the um, distribution companies. I'm not gonna get mad at them. I think we need to call out our black directors, our black screenwriters, our black producers and say what the hell and I know they do not have an easy task going up against Hollywood but right now we have Shonda Rhimes who's killing it everything she touches turns to gold we have F Gary Gray who his story might be a part of the Oscars this year I mean he's a contender for an Academy Award even the guy that played Eazy E he very well may get a nomination so then we now have hip-hop billionaire Dr. Dre. We have Ice Cube doing his thing. We have Tyler Perry. We kind of have Tyler Perry. And I'm wondering, why don't we start to tell the story of Egypt, starting with the first dynasty, the first Egyptian dynasty. If HBO can make Game of Thrones, if Peter, it wasn't like Peter Jackson, can do Lord of the Rings, and these become some of the most successful franchises and stories and productions ever, why can't we do a TV show? Okay, mind you now, the CW is coming out with a Cleopatra um, television show, and the CW is geared towards teens. So what is this Cleopatra going to look like? Because I guarantee you she won't have my skin tone. Who... We'll see. So keep an eye on that story. Anyway, I want to go back to this. I feel like if our black producers, directors, writers, whatever, can really come together and make a story about... I mean, do you know how many stories you can get out of the Egyptian dynasty starting with the first what, Thousands and thousands of years of stories and side stories i mean you could tell the story from the pharaohs down to the people why isn't that been done why hasn't that been done and if it has somebody please let me know because i would love to check it out but an all-black cast i mean if you think about the success of like i said game of thrones lord of the rings like these stories these epic fantasy stories telling all these different you know mythical stories i mean we've seen it with um the movie troy with brad pitt I just don't understand for the life of me why with the success we're having in Hollywood right now, this is being called the golden age of television. Like TV is so freaking good right now because we have streaming. We have Hulu and Netflix is winning right now. Everyone's watching, you know, scandal and how to get away with murder. We have some of the highest rated shows and I'm starting to see people like Eva Longoria. She's killing it in Hollywood right now. Like, she is telling the story of her people. She's giving her people roles, very much what Shonda Rhimes is doing. So I think we can really put an end to a lot of this BS and people will really start to understand the significance of Africa to world history if we start to take control of African stories. Because right now, I just heard somebody last week say 
um, the reason we didn't care about the attacks in Mali because um, it was black Africa and not white Africa. What the f is white Africa? Are you serious? So you're talking about what? Uh, Northern Africa is white Africa. They're trying to whitewash this planet. And I'll just leave on this note. They just found some um, bones in South Africa. And they think these are the oldest um, bones they've found so far. I think they're saying these bones are older than Lucy. So now we're going to South Africa. And as we all know, South Africa is being whitewashed too. So if we could take control of the stories and the portrayal of Africa through the media, because media is extremely powerful, I think for the first time we'll start to see more truth in our storytelling because of the historical significance coming out of Egypt. If we could start there and then go even further back than that, how black will the stories be? Think on that.